Hey, Kev, so you're telling me that you like to play games that aren't actually games, just sims? So you're just simulating other people playing instead of you actually having any input on the actual stuff? Eh, video game's a video game. So, I want to start with uh, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. So you're just you're upset about the roster, but I looked up the roster, and it's apparently 34 characters. And when I looked up the roster for the first one, and the second one, the first one had 30 characters, and the second one had 34 characters, and that's including version exclusives, like uh, consoles or whatever. Uh, if that's not the final number, I may be off by a little bit. Uh, when I was looking at two, it showed like Wikipedia showed like playable characters and it showed common and then it showed like enemies. So I don't know if those like those those are just like random enemies, I think bosses and stuff. I don't think you were able to play as those characters, but could be wrong. Ultimate Alliance two could have had like double the roster. I remember there being DLC for for Ultimate Alliance two. So yeah, I don't know, but there's gonna be DLC for this game and. I don't know how expensive it's going to be, but as speaking of uh, DLC for new characters, Smash, you know, with uh, Banjo, we paid $60 for a full game. Then they decided we will add more characters, but, you know, that takes development time. And so it's $25 for an extra five characters, uh, I think five stages and a shit ton of music. And we'll probably get little me out, me outfits in between that. So that's a lot of extra stuff put into the game that they want. That it's so it's it's a full game. It's just you're paying twenty five dollars for a little extra. What's twenty five dollars, dude? Stop being cheap. So Mario Kart Eight is awesome, and the reason that Mario Kart Nine is not necessary yet is because Mario Kart Eight is really really good. But so many people didn't play it because it was on the Wii U and not a lot of people had the Wii U. So it was kind of wasted on there. So they figured, okay, let's just, you know, throw it on Switch and it should have a good, you know, lifespan. Until they decide that a ninth one is necessary, which it really isn't yet. Unless they have some grand ideas. But, eh, I think it's fine. I think, I think it's awesome, so... And uh, Pokemon's going to be a day one buy for you. Which one are you getting? I don't remember if you said that you're getting Sword or Shield. I don't remember. And I didn't look up the plushie. So you got to tell me what the plushie that comes with it is. Instead of lo me looking it up, I'll let that just be a talking point for you on Monday. Are we getting too old for video games, Kevin? Uh, I don't think we're getting too old for video games. I just think that as we get older, we have less time to play. And that doesn't mean that we're growing out of video games. At least not for me. I still love video games just as much as I've ever loved video games. Uh, but it's just so hard to find the time to play them. I just recently downloaded that uh, Cadence of Hyrule game. And I really, I really like it. It's very interesting the way that you have to uh, go about playing the game. You have to do everything in a beat. And all the music's really cool. It's all like remixes of Zelda songs. If you're not you're not a Zelda fan, so you may not um, appreciate it. But it actually makes me want to play whatever other the other game was that that the people made. Um, some necromancer or something like that. But I'm having fun with that game. I just got it yesterday. It's only 25 bucks, so it's not even like a full size game, not a full price game. So if you if you want to play that, that's that's pretty cool. It's got an interesting play style to it. Cuz you can't just walk around and attack. You have to walk with the beat and make sure that the attack that you're doing like so if your player is here 
and another player's here and there's something in between you, you both can't go into it at the same time or else you'll get hit. So they have to go into it and then you have to hit them while they're in that space. And it's very interesting. It's a different play style. It, I'm so used to it right now so that like when I'm typing, you have to do everything at the beat of the song in the game. So it's like... So there have been times where I've been typing to people and I've been like... And then I realized, like, I don't have to do that. I'm not playing the game. But no, I don't think we're getting too old for games. I think we just have less and less time to play. Your question of the day was, what was E3 missing? And E3 was missing just that old flair it used to have, man. I don't know. There's something about older E3s that's just so so much better. I guess we just haven't had a lot of crazy announcements this year. And a lot of the ones that were announced were kind of leaked already. And also Metroid, Metroid Prime 4. I know that they, they pretty much re, are redoing it, but just like concept art or something, we need to see something for Metroid Prime 4. So my question of the day has to do with something that you said. You said that you're afraid that the gameplay of, I don't remember what game, is going to be too repetitive. And... I would counter that and say, aren't most games that are like action games too repetitive? All sports games, super repetitive. All sports in general, super repetitive. Um, anything where you have inputs into attack, even Smash Brothers could be super repetitive. There are only like pure puzzle games that are different puzzles every time that are less repetitive. But would you, my question is, would you, would you agree with me when I say most games are repetitive? Hey, everybody. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell for notifications when we post videos. You can follow me on Twitter at 90s Guy Tom. You can follow Kevin on Twitter at 90s Guy Kevin. You can follow both of us on Instagram at the 90s Guys. I don't know what I just did there. But with that, you'll see me next time.